wish you two would just get together and pay the tab. Is this love or is it just rough sex with Michael Douglas? Wow. Wow. <laughs> By Paul H. Landis, who has never known the touch of a woman. Collaborator, Lillian Bilkey, who's single and lives in a furnished room with six cats. <laughs> Lillian Bilkey. 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 Well, except for Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. <laughs> Out of my way, I want to catch the end of Bobby Hackett's trumpet solo. Miss <laughs> Channing, there's an Eve Harrington here to see you. Looks like Van Gogh's room in Arl. Oh, Arl. So, um, where's Waldo? Ah, uh, he's under the bed. Jeez, how many times was she held back? <laughs> Hi, Peg. Hi, Mom. Well, you look more excited than I've ever seen you before, and that's saying something. Well, yes. oh, Liz, you'll never guess. I got engaged to Joe. We're going to be married at the end of the semester, right after Joe graduates. What? But you won't even go and study with him for a couple of months. Oh, exactly three months and three days. Love has made me but, anal. <laughs> but, Peg. Are you going to drop out of college before you graduate? I mean, you've only got another year to go. Oh, Liz, everyone isn't as slow as you and Andy. Besides, you're a Romulan. I want to get married in June. Hmm, get the cuffs. Joe's been told he has a good chance of getting a job on a pro football team this summer. As a water boy? Sure, we'll make out. Are you going to phone your mom and dad about getting engaged? Actually, they're married already. Oh, oh I see. I'm scared oh. stiff of what Mother will say. Sure. We'll raise the roof. I think I'll send a telegram instead. Don't be silly, Peg. You always talk as though your mother was an ogre or something. Well, I've known her for 50 Dad years. Don't too much. Your mother will be furious. Every so often she writes to ask if I've seen Pete Standish. You know, just because his father's a big-time real estate man and he's mother's idea of a perfect catch. He just got the Glen Gary account. Compared to Joe, Pete's so dull. Joe's so handsome. Handsome equals <laughs> not dull. Honestly, Peg, I don't know how many times ever since we were in high school together I've heard you go on the same way about some man or other. Oh, but this is different, Liz. Really, it is. He's anatomically correct in everything. It's the real thing. I remember when I first felt that way about Andy. At the turn of the century. I think about him all the time. Gosh, Peg, you, you just can't rush into marriage. Why not? Julia Roberts did. Mm. Oh, Liz. Don't mind my saying this, but... You and Andy seem so... So, so old-fashioned, I suppose you mean. No, just old. <laughs> well, you've been going together for a year and a half. Last month, you finally became engaged. I'm not like that. I'm easy. <laughs> well, that's fine, but... Are you sure you'll always be in love like you are now? With somebody, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Liz, how can you say such a thing? Oh, Dad. Wait a minute, Peg. Come here. Please don't get upset. All I mean is, are you sure you see eye to eye about things like... The trade deficit. Well, like money and, and children. Oh, or, yes. Or even what's right and what's wrong. How do you get along with each other's families? Boring. Suppose your parents won't approve. Hmm. You have to think about these things, Peg. Look, can we get separate beds? As far as I'm concerned, you don't have to think, but you sound the right man. I excuse me, but that's my boyfriend? You better go and send that telegram. I'm too much in love to send a telegram. Mm. Oh, I love his picture. Maybe someday I'll meet him in person. No. Well, uh, let's see. If my yeah, if my uh, if my demands are not met, the screams of those who've wronged me and the smell of burning flesh will fill the student uh, student union. Hi, Andy. How's the essay coming? Not so good, Mom. Page two. Mm, not so good. Will you just lay off? Uh, I can do an engineering paper in two days, Liz. <laughs> but I've been working on this English assignment for a week, and nothing. Gosh, Andy, you've got to get your English or you won't graduate. Would you just leave me alone? Yeah, Look, why don't we meet at the library tonight? Oh, yeah. Maybe I can help. Yeah. Gee, thanks, Liz. That'd be swelling. Conformists without a cause. <laughs> hey, look. The lovebirds have arrived. Then they're leaving their droppings all over the place. <laughs> nothing like advertising. They got engaged last night. <gasps> Peggy says they're getting married right after commencement. Marriage? It's immoral. Boy, 
Peggy thinks it's all hand-holding and gazing into each other's eyes. She doesn't know about the stench of ammonia from the piles of crap-filled diapers. And... We were like that once, too. And now, a firm and hearty hand clasp. First dates were exciting. The more I got to know you, the more I liked what I knew. You know, I suppose I was really intrigued by the things I didn't know about you. Like you're being a communist and all. We seemed to have lots in common, didn't we? There were so many things we could do together. What the hell was that for? Well, you were supposed to cover down the line. I told you. Come here, look at that. I wish I could argue with you there. But you've emasculated me. You really enjoy a good argument, don't you? I haven't forgotten the time the Dean's Rule on Drinking came out. I can quit any time I want to. That was the day I found out we could argue like anything and somehow love each other more. I thought expulsion was too stiff a penalty. One small slip and some guy's whole life could be changed. Drinking in college? I've never There's heard of that. Lots of what you said then, Andy, but I couldn't entirely agree. Expelling somebody is a serious thing, of course, but so is drinking in a dorm. All those people living so close together... Look, would you just lay off for ten seconds? Well, we didn't settle the issue, but it sure was fun trying. <laughs> I wanted to convince you, and you tried to convince me. <laughs> so I guess we became most convinced about each other. We must have. Up until a month ago, that finger looked kind of bare. Remember? Mm. Make it. Mm. But that zirconia... You jerk. QVC, thank you. Uh, I figured if, like, we split it, the cost, we can afford it. Gifts given into arms, punished by expulsion. Mmm, you taste like Gene Kirkpatrick. Oh, I'm on fire. Enough. That's enough. Honey, I also got you a subscription to Modern Maturity. Mm. Gosh, I think our folks were even more excited than we were. Yeah, when your dad got the shotgun down. You ready to go mm. back to the dorm? Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Andy. Hey, congratulations, you two. I just heard the news. Oh, thanks, thanks Andy. <laughs> Peggy! It's the heat Mother, run! Dad. Hi, darling. Oh, poopy. What are you doing here? <laughs> We got your telegram. Aren't you thrilled? Should we be? Now, don't be cross, Betty. Let's hear Peggy's side. Well, he's good in the sack, and he likes to get high. <gasps> well. well, we've been going steady for over three months now. And Mother, Dad, we have such wonderful times oh together. Oh, my God. I'm in love, really in love for the first time. We plan to marry right after commencement. It's as simple as that. You're grounded. Peggy you wrote us last week that Joe was going into professional football. Has he signed on with any team yet? Well, no, he hasn't got a contract yet. <laughs> but he's been told he has a very good chance of getting one. Mm -hmm. After all, he's been the star of our team here this year, you know. Yeah. Peg, your mother and I have come down here to ask you to put off your wedding. And to kill until Joe. at least after you've graduated. Now, dear, if you'll wait, we can help you get a house and you can set up a home properly. Oh, take the house. Take the house. Oh, yeah. house. Oh, house. Then, I love Joe. Kill us, please kill us. We can live in a little apartment Slut. wherever we're situated. Being with Joe means more to me than anything else. And we won't wait. But dear, you only have one year and a month more to go. It'd be such a pity not to finish here. Captain Spaulding. And Spalding. while you're finishing your last year, Joe can get established in football if that's what he really wants. And you'll have some more time to see if you're right for each other. That theoretical stuff gives me a pain. We're sure now we're right for each other. And that's all that's really important. But Peggy, we want to meet Joe. Oh, well, look. Don't dare. Why don't we all have dinner together at the hotel tonight? And then he can tell us all about this football business. Football is Joe's profession, Mother. And it's just as good as anything else. Get a rope, honey. Joe and I had already made plans for a date tonight, and I see no reason to change them now. But Peggy, dear... You're not going to stop us marrying. Dad thinks all he has to do is pay for something, and he'll get his own way. Work till you now. By treating me like a child, you can force me to do what you want. Well, you're both wrong. I'm no child. I'm me, and I'll do what I want. Hmm. Well, honey, it looks like we spawned a demon seed. Don't worry, Betty. She'll get over it. Just a touch of hysterics, that's all. Why, by the time the end of the semester comes, she'll probably be madly in love with someone else. Come on, we'll see her again in the morning. Let's hit the bar. It's happy hour. Young Colonel Sanders. He's no football player. He might be in the swing well, fire. Oh, Joe, I'm so mixed up about everything. Original or extra crispy? Folks trying to stop us. They've always tried to run my life. I want you to run my life. Like when I wanted to go to a dance at a roadhouse. Hmm? Dad insisted that I stay at home. Just because Patrick Swayze was there. I was so mad, I climbed out of a window and went to a girlfriend's house. That's kind of odd, honey. And the folks were frantic. 
They looked all over for me. They even called the police. Finally found me at that crack house. <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> I had so many brothers and sisters, nobody would have missed me if I'd left. Well, who cares about you? It would take a couple of days for anyone to realize I'd gone. Believe me, being an only child has its disadvantages. Hey, move it up there! Every move I've ever made. Being in college has been sheer heaven. Except for the classes. Roger, we've got to do something. They'll do anything to break us up. I wish I hadn't sent that telegram. I should just hadn't made me. Look, honey. I should tell you, I'm a woman. I love you. I want to marry you. But what is this crap? I love you too, Joe. I don't ever want to be away from you. We have a winner. Luminary Ooh. returns indicate love. He's at the 40, the 50. He might go all the way. Oh, you taste like Troy Donahue. You taste like Eleanor Donahue. Oh, I'm spent. That was incredible. We'll work something out. Watch out for snakes. Meanwhile, back in the cold, bitter, loveless life of her parents. Well, good morning, Liz. Good morning, Mr. Kramer. Good morning, Mrs. Kramer. Good morning, Liz. We inquired at the desk for Peggy, but they said she wasn't in, so we asked for you. We knew you'd Where be in. I don't really know, Mr. Kramer. She left the room very early this morning before I was awake. For some reason, she took her teddy. She oh. left this note for me. Let's see here. Dear Dad, lose the mustache, you twisted old fruit. Dear Liz, I'm afraid Mother and Dad would try to stop us. So Joe and I left this morning to be married. Oh, Mr. Drysdale. Please break the news to the folks. Try to explain that this is something I had to do. I'm afraid they won't understand. Love, Peggy. Here, look at it. Look at it! I'm sorry, Mrs. Kramer. Mm, got the boogers again, eh, dear? Couldn't she have told us how she really felt? She only mentioned this boy twice in letters. Look, I'm the roommate. Lay off. I just thought it was another college crush. How could she do it? Well, see, the man lies next to the woman at... Oh. Even getting married at the end of the semester would have been better than eloping. Poor darling. Ah, let's make sweet love and have a Some new daughter. She, she may have so much to regret. Well, she could end up like us. Sorry, I can't be your daughter. I already have parents. Bye-bye. Uh, Jeez, I don't blame Peggy. What a couple of wing nuts. All right, let's go talk about our superior relationship. Liz again. and Andy, are they really in love? Can love transcend We're going gender? For a year and a half now. Is Peggy right in thinking that Andy and Liz are too old-fashioned? Is this going to be on the what test? About Peggy and Joe, they appear to be in love. They're not. They obviously are physically attracted to one another. Whoa. Right now, they're radiant with excitement and the thrill of taking matters into their own hands. <laughs> yes, yes. When this excitement of the moment settles down. What will remain? A big visa bill. Will they be companions as well as lovers? Willing and able to share the realities and responsibilities of having a home, bringing up children, and making a living. Hey, you're bringing me down, man. There's really no one and only for any of us. Until we make it so by our own choice. And when we do choose, we have to know, will this love stand the test of time. You make the call. How would you answer this question for Liz and Andy, Peggy and Joe? Bob and Carol, and Ted and Alice. Tell? Is this love? You have 10 minutes to answer the questions starting now. Ding. And now stay tuned for the Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill hearings. No animals were hurt during the filming of this movie. How much affection? When should I marry? Know your ointments. What's that down there? When he wants it rough. Procreation, not recreation. Oh, no, pleasure. McClintock. 